What's up guys, welcome back to The Educated Barfly. Today we're gonna to be making a cocktail called Death in the Gulf Stream, which was first published in 1939 by Charles H. Baker in his Gentleman's Companion Volume 2, Around the World with Jigger, Beaker, and Flask. So, if you guys don't know, Charles H. Baker was a writer who wrote for periodicals like uh, Town and Country and Esquire. He, he spent most of his career um, traveling the world and writing about food and drink. Rough life, isn't it? Um, anyway, I thought that we would do this cocktail because we haven't done a G Genever. I say Genever, and then uh, Marius was like, do you mean Genever? And he goes, well, in Norway, we say, what do you guys say in Norway? Why, you're shaking, why are you shaking your head, dude? Come on. What do you, how do you say Genever in Norway? Genever. Genever? Genever. Genever. Sounds more like Jennifer, if you ask me. But uh, anyway, I'm going to leave it up to you guys. Uh, I did not look up the pronunciation because I don't really care. That's not true. You guys are going to correct me anyway. Let's get into the cocktail. That's the... Jennifer. 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 Okay, well, we haven't done a lot of Jennifer cocktails. Um, and if you guys don't know, Jennifer is like the precursor to gin. It is a malty uh, juniper... It's made with, well, it's Marty Juniper flavored um, spirit. Uh, and you guys should all know about it. I'm using Bulls today because I have this Bulls that I haven't used in a long time. There are a lot of other wonderful brands. That's all I got to say about it. Let's get into making the drink, shall we? So the first thing we're going to do is one ounce of lime juice. Three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup. Two ounces of Hanever. Oh, look at that. The top broke off. Cheap, cheap bowls. You can do better than this. Well, I guess I have to put it on here just for... It's like, it's like look, like there's little bits of glue. And they just glue it into here. They can do better than that, though. All right. Two ounces. Hanever. Genever. Genever. All right, and as I do with my crushed ice cocktails, just a little little scotia of crushed ice, or pebble ice for that matter, is what we actually use here on the Educated Barfly. A lot of you ask me where I get my pebble ice, I buy it from an ice company, but you guys, if you don't have an ice company near you or it's not in your town, you can get it from Sonic. Just go over there with a cup and ask them for some pebble ice, and they're usually very happy to give you some. If not, you can always just take some cube dice and a Lewis bag and a hammer. And if you don't have a Lewis bag, you can use a bandana and a hammer and you can make some, but that's gonna be a little bit more along the lines of shaved ice than it is like, it's gonna be crushed ice as opposed to pebble ice. That being said, when you shake with your pebble ice, you just want a little bit because you want to get the dilution going and you wanna get the chill going, but you don't wanna to dilute too much because you're gonna be putting this over a bunch of crushed ice. Anyway, so we're just going to dump our cocktail into the glass, like so. We're going to add some more ice. And then we're going to do a little Angostura on top, a few dashes. No more than like four if you're using an Angostura bottle. Three, really, if you're using it in the stir bottle. And then we're just going to put a little pebble ice on top just to give it a nice little snow cone. And then we're just going to garnish here with a little minty poo. And I, like lots of bartenders, I like to slap at a mint. Now, Jeffrey Morgenthaler kind of came out on his, on his Twitter being like, hey, bartenders, you're slapping the mint on your hand. What's up with that? Apparently... He says crushing is a little more. So crush or slap, I like to slap. I like to look like I'm beating the mint a little bit. Beating it to submission. Now, um, Marius, can you guess what it is that I forgot in this video? Let's uh, have the viewer guess. Okay, well, can you guys guess what I forgot in this video? Huh? Huh? Give up? Well, I didn't bring my um, 
I didn't bring my sippy cylinder. So I've been really digging on these high impact glass straws from Surfside Sips. Uh, I have a bunch of them. I really like them. I like to use them. I need them for a uh, crushed ice cocktail and um, I don't have one right now. But you know, the upside to that is I'm gonna take a sip and I'm actually gonna take a, take a sip from the bitters on here uh, to tell you what this tastes like. Um, although I, I think you guys kind of know, if you're, if you're familiar with Jennifer, I think you guys know um, what lime simple syrup and Jennifer tastes like with a little angle on top. But let's, let's give it a sip anyway. Ooh, yeah. Yes! Sorry, was that a little too dramatic? The drink is awesome. It is, you know, lime and simple juice, just a, basically like a, a Geneva sour, but like the Geneva gives it this nice maltiness that plays, that balances that tart and sweet so perfectly. You get a little spice from the Angostura. It is mm, top notch. There you have it, my friends. The, the Death in the Gulf Stream. This is a good one for hot days. This is a porch sipper. This is what you should be drinking as we get into August, in the hot, hot months of August. So there you go. There you have it. Go make it. Enjoy it. If you like our channel, please hit like and subscribe. And if you want, press. I, I do this as if the bell icon's right here. I don't know why I do that, but I'm not sure where the bell icon is, but click the bell icon. Oh, it's here. All right, I guess I should be doing this. I, I always do this. I've done this on like five videos now. But if you like, uh, if you if you like our channel, and you want to help us out, please hit the bell icon that will notify you guys when we do new videos. And check out our Patreon. That goes a long way to helping us uh, produce the show, all of these videos, and we have some exclusive stuff on Patreon for Patreon members. There are videos that are not likely to come to YouTube, but never say never. Anyway. If you like our channel, hit like and subscribe as well. And I will see you guys next time. Oh, by the way, that Patreon thing is patreon.com slash the educated barfly. Okay, now I'll see you guys next time.